Hey guys, Ivan here and this video we're gonna start with a physique update of Juji Mufu. Honestly guys, I'm not really that familiar with this guy. I know he has a YouTube channel and he's very popular on Instagram and that's why I'm making a video about him because he has a lot of followers. So if there is demand, there will be supply and uh, here you go. So he's four weeks out of his very first bodybuilding show. Uh, it's Olympia Amateur. And again, I never really followed this guy, I checked his stuff out, I saw that he is really funny, but I'm not into that kind of stuff, I'm more of a bodybuilding, hardcore bodybuilding fan, though this guy has a lot of muscle and he's incredibly strong, he has some really crazy feats that he accomplished, and now he's gonna try and do a bodybuilding show. So as far as muscularity, he has a lot of muscle, he is a big guy. I mean, he's not as big as like the other guys that are gonna do the Arnold Classic or whatever, he's not an open bodybuilder, he's pretty big for, let's say, classic physique, but he does not have a classic structure. I guess you can compare this muscularity to that of like Terence Ruffin and the other top classic physique guys, so he does have quite a bit of muscle, though this physique can <laughs> never do well in classic physique. So whatever happens at Olympia Amateur, it's gonna be a great experience for him, he's going to enjoy it, it's gonna be a personal accomplishment, I'm sure a lot of his followers are interested in seeing how that all goes, I'm sure he's going to vlog about it. So yeah, in that, in that way it's great, but as far as him being a bodybuilding potential, hell no, not even close. I mean, look at that, uh, that leg of his, uh, the left leg, he probably had a quad tear and it is really obvious, especially when he's lean, you can see it, it doesn't look very good. But his back is amazing though, he does have a lot of muscle in that back, you can see lats separated, traps, rhomboids, shoulders are pretty good as well, the waist is pretty small from behind, and I'm sure when he's completely lean, you will be able to see a solid Christmas tree. Now as far as conditioning, for 4 weeks out, if you take a look at the glutes, the glutes are great, for 4 weeks out that's where you wanna be. Now, he could be leaner, some guys are leaner at like 5-6 weeks out, but you don't have to be, if you're prepping for the first show, this is spot on, this is great. In 4 weeks, if he pushes things, and I'm sure he will, I'm sure they left a lot of room to play with, he will be shredded, the glutes will be in. Uh, the legs from behind look pretty poor, uh, the hamstrings are not showing any separation, uh, no mass, it's just a muscularity problem. If he doesn't have that right now, he won't have it when he's leaner, and it could be the posing problem, he doesn't know how to flex them, but I'm pretty sure the, the hamstrings are just not good, and the quads also, overall the legs, lower body, uh, looks a little bit smaller than the upper body, so I don't like that. Okay, maybe I'm being too harsh on the guy, this is his first show, so he looks amazing for a first time, it looks insane, I'm just critiquing him as a like, potential pro or something like that. I mean, I'm, I'm just critiquing what I'm seeing, I'm just being honest as what I'm seeing, but overall he does look great, I mean here in this most muscular his chest looks hard and full, the shoulders and the arms look pretty good, the legs look downsized but lean. So basically, I mean, everybody has flaws and I just picked this guy apart completely, but for his very first show, for somebody who hasn't really been competing, he looks amazing. Four weeks out, he looks insane. And in four weeks more, he's going to look that much better. So I'm expecting him to look great on that show. And I'm really curious to see the final package, even though he's not a bodybuilder, really. He's more of a powerlifter or strongman or acrobat, I don't know, he's doing a lot of crazy feats on his IG, uh, whatever, he's now gonna compete in bodybuilding and he's gonna do great, he does look great and the prep is going really well, he does have a lot of muscle, overall, I'm impressed, I can't say it's bad, I just picked him apart, but I am impressed, this looks great. Alright, so now let's compare how big Joji Mufu is compared to these classic physique guys. So this is Chris Bumstead, he posted this video on his YouTube channel, posing against the last year's runner-up Terence Ruffin, and these guys are looking incredible. For uh, 5 weeks out of Mr. Olympia and 3 weeks out uh, of Arnold Classic for Terence, so it looks like actually Chris is in better shape. But maybe it's just because of uh, Terence's dark skin, you can't really see much here. He needs crazy hard lighting to actually show some separation because he's so dark and Chris is just pale. So you can see that Chris looks sharper, but I'm not sure if his body fat is actually lower. But I think it's pretty safe to say that he is a little bit leaner for some reason. And I'm sure that Ter Terence will be shredded for the Arnold Classic. He knows his game, he knows what he does and I'm sure he's pacing it properly. So that's not a, not a problem. And I said it before. 
Terence, he looks the best when he's like done, when his physique is cooked, when he's peaked, when he's lean, when he does everything in the day of the show, that's when he looks amazing. Day before, two days before, not that good, especially not four weeks out. So you might think he doesn't look that good right now, but just wait, those three weeks his body is gonna change entirely. But Chris, that was the same thing with Chris before. He never really looked super duper impressive. Uh, four weeks, uh, five weeks out. This is the best he ever looked at five weeks out, if you ask me. As, if I remember correctly, he never looked this shredded and this big and full and everything at, four, at five weeks out. So I think this is gonna be better version of Seabum at Mr. Olympia. Like last year's version wasn't enough. And as far as comparing Chris and Terence, I don't find this even similar. I don't think there's a comparison here. I don't think uh, Terence can challenge Chris Bumstead at all. Not this year, I don't know about the other guys, maybe some other guys can challenge him, I don't know if they really change, but as far as Terence, if he somehow manages to beat everybody else and gets second spot, that's gonna be great accomplishment, as far as him challenging Chris, I don't see that happening, no way. So, who could challenge Chris? <laughs> this guy, this guy right here, Brian Jones, what the hell, man, what the hell is this guy doing in Classic Physique? He's actually 228 right here. Can you believe it? And I talked about the open bodybuilders like Regan Grimes, like Patrick Moore, like Rafael Brandau, who are open, obviously, but they are representing the classic in the open. They are classic, they have classic look, but they are just a little bit too big for the classic, still a little bit smaller for the open. And this guy is representing the mass monsters, the freaks in classic bodybuilding, in classic physique. So take a look at his waist. His waist is tiny. So he does have the right structure. I love his structure. What I don't like about his physique is the size of his legs. I think they are overpowering his whole body and also the separation everywhere. I would like to see drier look, deeper separation, deeper cuts. He doesn't really have that and I, I love to see that in, in classic physique, I think that's a very important criteria in classic physique, details, deep details, dryness, even without it, he can do very well, but that's what I'm talking about, if this guy gets it, if he gets detailed, shredded, dry, he can maybe challenge Chris Bumstead, who knows? As far as Terence and the other guys like Brian, we already know, those guys can come 100% on and they cannot challenge Chris. But if these guys, who are kind of close but still haven't figured it out completely, if they come peeled, perfectly peaked and everything, that can be a surprise. Because this guy right here, what the hell, <laughs> what the hell, this, look at his front lats, Brad, look at the most muscle, look at the tiny waist and big arms, big shoulders, everything is popping, so much 3D action going on, so much bubbly kind of muscle, if he can get detailed and dry with deep, deep cuts, that's gonna be a serious package, guys, I'm telling you that much. And we got an update of Regan Grimes, a classic open bodybuilder, and he is getting leaner, he's definitely getting leaner. Since the last time we saw him, now he looks way more shredded. Just pay attention to the details in his uh, side abs and also the quads and, and just overall the abs uh, in, in the front of the bicep, he does look a lot leaner. And I said before, he actually did gain muscle in the offseason, he does look improved, he does look better, I think the biceps are, are looking more peaky, I think the lats are popping more, and somehow his waist got smaller, uh, am I seeing it clearly? It looks like his waist looks smaller, but I think his legs also downsized a little, though it seems like he has more details. Overall, I do like his physique right now, I think it looks better than last year. The side leg in the side chest looks really impressive, the chest in that pose, as usual, looks a little bit flatter, especially the lower chest, but on the photo on the right, he looks really freaking aesthetic, look at how classic this guy is in the open, just as much as I was impressed, how freaky Brian Jones looks as a classic guy, that is how much I'm impressed with Regan Grimes, how classic he looks for an open bodybuilder. And this is definitely awesome, seeing these guys, some guys in the open who are massive enough to be competitive in the open, but still classic enough to represent the aesthetics. I love it, I love his physique right now, and I can't wait to see him 
get shredded in those five weeks he has a lot of time i hope he will push for crazy conditioning if he gets crazy ripped that's gonna be an amazing physique to witness a great great physique for open bodybuilding but can he end up in that first call out maybe stand next to big remy yeah no not this year not this year i think big remy is just a, a next level he's the first tier bodybuilder of course mr olympia winner and regan is like uh, somewhere between second and third tier i mean he's knocking on the door of like becoming a top nine top eight bodybuilder and maybe it's gonna ha I'm, su I'm sure it's gonna happen in a couple of years probably not this year maybe if he just nails conditioning but probably not anyways big Ramy, this is him right now he is in the united states this is him with dennis uh, james they just took a photo uh, big Ramy is there five weeks out just like hadi right on time it's great that he's already there and now he's hardcore training and posing hardcore posing with dennis james can begin dennis tortured him last year he killed him with posing practice and that's one of the reasons it's probably why he won that show he was the most dominant poser while everybody was fading, Big Remy was becoming more and more aggressive, and I think that's why he won. If that wasn't the case, if he acted tired, if he acted like he wasn't interested, if he wasn't confident, maybe Brandon would have edged him out. But no, his posing was amazing, his confidence was on a really high level, and that's great that he is now with Dennis James again, and also Dennis is gonna put him through some crazy, crazy workouts as well, and that will help for sure with conditioning, with details, with overall package, uh, and now working with Chad Nichols, again, I mean, since last year, with one of the best coaches in the world, the one who created the best bodybuilder of all time, Ronnie Coleman, I'm sure they're gonna make a great team, and I don't know if Remy's gonna win again, in all likeliness, if I'm gonna bet on somebody, I would bet on him, but I think Brandon has a good chance of actually challenging him this year, so I'm not sure who's gonna win, it can go either way, it's not really, it's not like Phil Heath 2011, 12, 13, you know, Ronnie Coleman at his best, it's not really set in stone that he's gonna win again, but I think he's the most likely, he's most likely gonna be the winner. Anyways, he's in the US, he just arrived, that's the news, and that's gonna do it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please like it, and for more bodybuilding content, as you can see, I am posting stuff every single day, pretty much, and I'm intending on bringing a lot more so subscribe to show some support like this video if you enjoyed it and thank you so much guys for watching all the best and bye bye